In physics, colors can be measured, but colors possess other qualities and properties which cannot be measured, but which we sense immediately. When the sun rises in the east, we may have the good fortune to observe a very special phenomenon. For a moment, the orange-red light of the sun plays directly upon the cliff, and our shadows appear to be greenish-blue. These shadows are actually grey. Our eyes form the greenish-blue as a counter to the powerful orangish-red light. This simpler setup helps to show what really happens. We illuminate a cone, from the left at first with white light, then from the right with white light. There is now a grey shadow on each side of the cone. If we add a green filter to the left-hand lamp, the whole setup is bathed in green light, except for the part that is in the shade of the cone. This time, when we switch on the light on the right, which is still white, our vision creates a magenta shade where there is room for it, namely in the grey shadow. If we zoom in until we can't see the surroundings anymore, but only the shadow itself, it stops looking magenta and turns grey again. If we view the shadow in isolation, it is grey, but when we see it in the context of which it is part, our vision invokes a magenta shade. Magenta is green's complementary colour. The German poet and scientist Johann Wolfgang von Goethe noticed the coloured shadows and decided to invest of color. Goethe is most famous for his poetry, but he also spent 40 years drawing up a theory of colors, and apart from Faust, he regarded it as his most important work. The phenomenon of colored shadows led Goethe to the view that colors are part of our vision and are therefore a sensory perception first and foremost. He studied the eye with great interest and based his entire theory on man as an observer. About vision, he said, it will always strive for totality and unity, as we see from the colored shadows. If the cone is lit from the left by violet light, we create the complementary color, yellow, by ourselves. Cyan blue light creates the complementary color, red. When we are subjected to an outer, uniform color influence, we create balance and harmony by forming an inner, complementary color. Colored shadows cannot be seen on their own, but only in the context in which they appear. They have no wavelength and therefore cannot be measured. So according to the scientists, they do not exist and are dubbed an optical illusion. Nevertheless, we see them. Goethe investigated colors wherever he saw them. He tried to chart their qualities and essence, when and under which conditions they arose, when we see them and how they affect us. He rendered the results of his work visible in this color wheel. Here, he has incorporated the general laws he discovered. For example, the complementary colors, the harmonic pairs of colors, are situated opposite one another.
The harmonic pairs are an expression of the intercourse between the seeing man and the colored world. When the world shows us one color, we respond with its other half. Colors help to tell us about the world around us. They tell us that one thing is different from another. We would never spot the tiny berries if they weren't blue. The colors help us to differentiate. They tell us about the seasons and the cycles of life. They show us laws governing the reality we inhabit.